Okay, so here we go. Another uh, video. This time it's um, Tony Hawk and Guitar Hero related. Okay, so this video is for ripping textures from Xbox um, packages basically or from Xbox files. So I will have a link to uh, Guitar Hero and Tony Hawk Tools 1.4 um, made by a little, little me. And um, first step, you'll see you'll have these files, some scripts, backup scripts. Then you have step one, which is my modified version of, version of Queen Bee for opening uh, GH5 and Warriors of Rock uh, stuff. It works. It works fine, I guess, for other files too. I think I haven't tested it completely. So if it if it doesn't work for like Guitar Hero 3 and the other formats, then just download a uh, 1.9 from just Google it. But yeah, so um, first step, go to Queen Bee, open it, run as administrator, and then you'll be greeted with this right here. Okay, so with this, what you will do is you will choose Xbox uh, Xen. You'll go open pack, then you will go and you will find a pack file from an Xbox game. So let's go to like, um, uh, let's see, Warriors of Rock. Let's do um, something fun, Guitar Hero 5. So data, compressed, then go to zones. Then you open up one of these uh, files. So in-game, let's try in-game. If there isn't anything else that could be. Uh... So in-game, you hit load. That will uh, load these. So for this Guitar Hero 5 file, the, this works. Uh, opening normally, just you know, with the the normal um, setting. So that's great. So what you want to do then is uh, make the uh, Queen Bee full screen. Sort by type, and then sort by length, and then sort by type again, so that it's length and type <laughs> uh, so that, uh, yeah, it's it's just a better way of um, sorting the files, I guess. So here you see we have text files. So we what we will do is we will extract uh, one of these. So we will go out. We will go to um, where I have the tool, which is in here somewhere. Um, this one. And then we will extract the file into text image send decompressor. This is a cubic send, but it's an it's a text sock send, so we'll save it into here. Then we will also save an image file. We'll go here with like the biggest one. Extract file. Same here, just save it into there. And then when that's done, we'll go to step two and you'll have these two files. So I guess this is a text text file. This is an image file. Uh, you, won't, you won't know that though. You won't see the difference because it's terrible. <laughs> Queen Bee is sort of terrible with that. It doesn't give you the right extensions and all that, but it doesn't matter. Mine sorts it out for you. So all you do now is click extract. And this will extract the files, and it will add, make them work properly, and then they will be placed in files. So here you will have a GH3X file, which is my own custom format, and then you will have a THP8 file, which is also my own custom format, um, just custom extensions I made, and formats, just swapping around values, building files that work with my tool or with my scripts. So when you have these, you want to go out to step three, which is Noesis. And I have my scripts included already, but if they're not here or if you, you lose them, they will be in here. Um, so go to Noesis, start Noesis. And uh, when you have Noesis right here, you are just going to go to this folder. Step two, click on files. And then you go to where you have this file. Boom. Double click it, 
and it will load right here. If you go here, you will have THP8 files. So all of THP8 files are not supported yet. Um, there's a pretty large chunk that aren't supported. I will work, you know, further work on that. Try to make all files, you know, supported. But for now, it's like 75%, something like that. So if you just click here, you can see the textures. So as you can see here, some are not supported. This is a tiny one, so it doesn't matter. But the majority of them work. So if you find something that you want to export, so let's say you find this right here. All you do is uh, right click, hit export, and then you export it as a Taga or a PNG. I, I, I uh, prefer the Targa file format, uh, texture format. You just hit export and then Export's complete, right? Now you go in here, go to files, and you will have the target file, which you can open. And it looks like this. So here you have the image. So yeah, that's how you uh, export textures from um, Xbox games. So let's, uh, let's go through it one more time, just you know, to make sure you understand what's happening. Oh, by the way, the files that you export uh, or process, they're put in temp. Just so you know, they don't just disappear. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. Step one, Queen B. Start it as admin. Okay. Then you go and find um, a... Uh, Texture. You know what? I'm actually going to take this. To do about. Oh shit. Do something like this. So now we're going to go and we're going to select global. We're going to open. It's going to tell us blah blah blah. Just doesn't really matter. Boom. Now let's select image, biggest image file again, extract file into um, into this folder right here, step two, right? And then you go down until you find text and extract file, you extract. Go to step two, hit extract. Boom, go to files, and here you will see the THP8 files and the GHX or GH3X file. Now, start Noesis, and find step two, go to files, and here you will have the textures. So this is some <laughs> really weird mask. Um, and here you will have textures. These red ones are not properly, proper format, so, uh, but I'm getting there. But as you can see, um, you can get the textures out of it. And, uh, but if, yeah, right here you'll see, you know, sort of where it, where it fails. And, um, you're just gonna have to get used to that for now, but the majority works, so. And here you have a clean, all of the GH3X files, all of them work, so that is just fine. So don't worry about those. But yeah, as you can see, this is how you do it. <coughs> I hope that helps, and um, yeah, peace out.